So far for Regulation D, we have showcased so many Pokemon on the casual ladder. Today's video, not going to be different, a brand new Pokemon for us, but an original 151 favorite. We got ourselves an Articuno team for Regulation D. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, what are you doing? Click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date when ranked battles go live. But like I said, we are rocking out with Articuno, such a cool Pokemon, and it stood the test of time, right? Everybody still loves it. Everybody still thinks it's an OG, really cool Pokemon, and its design is absolutely amazing, even up against the newer Pokemon in today's generation. But first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be Regilecki. Regilecki is going to be top tier in Reg Regulation D, considering it is one of the fastest Pokemon ever. It has Transistor, the Choice Scarf as item, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, E-Web, and Zap Cannon. Articuno is going to be in our second slot with the Snow Cloak and the Bright Powder as its item and ability. It has Roos, Freeze Dry, Blizzard, which hits 100% of the time in the snow, and Terror Blast for its final move, which will turn into water, considering Articuno's Terror type is water. Third slot is going to be Articuno's best friend. It is going to be a bomb of snow with the snow warning to set the snow and have weather control for the match. It also has Rocky Helmet with Blizzard, Energy Ball, Ice Shard, and Aurora Veil. Urshfu is in our fourth slot, and again, Urshfu is one of those Pokemon you're going to be seeing plenty of times on the rank ladder. It has Unseen Fist, the Mystic Water to boost water damage with Detect, Surging Strikes, Close Combat, and Aqua Jet. Fifth Pokemon is going to be Shen Pao. The team features Shen Pao and Urshfu combo alongside with Shen Pao and Dragonite. It's still going to be very strong in Regulation D. It's not going anywhere. It has Swords of Ruin, the Focus Ash, then Protect, Ice Spinner, Sucker Punch, and Sacred Sword. Fifth and final Pokemon is going to be the Choice Band Dragonite. Everybody knows how dangerous this Pokemon is. It has Multi Scale, E Speed with the normal Terror type, Aerial Ace, Aqua Jet, and Outrage. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that casual ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Articuno Hail team. Looking to get things started off hot here, we're also going up against a semi hail team, right? They got Glacian, they got Abomaso, but they are also rocking out with Rotom Heat alongside with Tatsugiri, Slowbro, and Dondoza. So Articuno is actually going to be really good with the Freeze Strike move. So I'm going to lead this Pokemon, but first I want to check its stats. Its special attack, rather high. Its speed's pretty decent. I like its HP stat and its defensive stats. Really solid Pokemon all around. So I'm going to go Articuno. I'm going to end up leading it with my lovely little Obama Snow to probably set up an Aurora Veil. From there, we can go into, we could go into Reggie. I mean, Reggie's not bad. I mean, it's going to be super effective onto a few, but Shen Pao Dragonite or Shen Pao Urshifu could be really good, right? I think I can get down with Shen Pao Urshifu. Even though Dragonite could be really good, I just like Shen Pao Urshifu, especially for Don Dozos. I was going to say we can crit every time, but we don't have the Dark One. The Dark One would be perfect up against Don Dozos, because if they get the boost, we can go for Wicked Blows and get that crit and just like kind of like not even worry about the uh, defensive stat boost. But since we're water typing, our crits aren't hitting all the time. But still, we hit through protects, which is absolutely amazing. Let's see who they end up leading. Are they going to go Snow Squad? No, you go Obama Snow without your Snow Guy. We need your Snow Guy. But I can actually Terra Blast here if I want to. And I think I am going to Terra Blast. Could be a nice, lovely play. Because I can just Terrasize in the water, Terra Blast into you, and get ripping. And then from there, I could set up a, uh, an Aurora Veil, can I? I do have Rocky Helmet. What's your speed? I wish you had Protect. I do wish you had Protect, but I believe Articuno should have speed and be able to dump on it. So I'm going to do that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna set up the roar bell. I'm gonna go into Terra Water with Articuno, who looks gorgeous, who looks lovely, right? Articuno looks so good. It looks so good. I love its design. I absolutely love its design. Even though Zapdos is arguably the best bird in competitive play at the moment, Articuno just looks insanely good, right? That and Glaring Mulches are the strongest ones. But we'll see what they want to go into. A roar bell is gonna pop out from them. A roar bell is gonna pop out from us too. And that might be a choice scarf. Abomasure. I think it was fast. It was fast. Terra Blast is going to fly. It's not going to KO with the War Bell, but still. Nice chunk of damage should be able to come out here. And I'm hoping that we can actually outspeed and set up a War Bell, which we don't. So now we're dead, aren't we? You're, we're not, because we Terrasalize. Cool. So he did not go after Articuno, which is actually big for us. This thing's going to eject pack out, I believe. Yeah, that's fine. And we both set up a War Bell. It's cool. So the Veils are out and about. Actually, not yet. We gotta wait for our Veil to be out and about. But their Veil is out and about. Let's see who their next Pokemon is. Could be Glaceon. I believe Glaceon might come out here. 
But we do have the bright powder. We do have the uh, the snow cloak, which is good. And Glaceon's gonna come out there for our opponent. So out comes Aurora Veil. We love it. I could Roost. I could keep it going with water moves if I want to. Um, hmm. Blizzard's gonna be okay. Terra Blast's gonna be okay. I think I just rip with Blizzard's, right? Try, try to just chip up some damage. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna rip up with some Blizzard's here. The Icy Wind's gonna fly here. My Articuno dodge and attack. So you're gonna slow us down a little bit. It's not a big deal. I'm kind of fine with that. I might swap my Abomasum next turn. I might just swap my Abomasum, but we're doing like no damage. We're doing like no damage. Freeze Dry is gonna chunk up some damage. We do outspeed, so we might want to roost next turn. Another Blizzard flying, doing some more damage over there. And yeah, I think I might just roost and hard swap into like Shen Pao. I do like Shen Pao here, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I doubt they go for another Ice Wind. Actually, they might. We'll see. We'll see how this one plays here. I'm looking to Roost and just get some HP back. A little bit of Roost action. So we bring out the Swords of Ruin. This one's going to be a pain in the neck of a match, right? <laughs> it's just double Aurora Veil. Very bulked up. Might be a long drawn out one. But he's going to end up Terrasalizing into Fire, which is kind of good for us because we can just Terra Blast into that, which I really like. The Giga Drain is going to fly. Oh, you Giga Drain into me? How dare you? I think I outspeed. I can Roost up here. Get some HP back. Big time. Give me that Roost. I'm not dying just yet. My Articuno is not dying just yet. Get on out of here. Beautiful. Terra Blast is going to come into Shen Pao. I mean, we are Sash, which is good. We're just kind of hoping he's not going to be uh, first on priority with Ice Shark because then that could be a problem. It could definitely be a problem. For sure be a problem. But from here, we're going to Terra Blast of our own into that slot. And I might try to just Sucker Punch, right? Because again, I do believe that he's going to go for Ice Shard. So Sucker Punch is going to be our friend. And he ends up just protecting the Glaceon. Ice Shard is a little bit of a problem, but we're going for a Sucker Punch. Dealing some nice damage. Is Ice Shard coming out here? It is, yeah. So good thing we did use Sucker Punch. Maybe I should have protected that turn and then, uh, and then uh, Sucker Punch. But it's all good. They get rid of my boy. My boy's gone. My Shen Pao is gone. But I can bring out Urshifu here, which I kind of like, and just save Obama stuff for later. Nice little Urshifu. But dude, we're just so bulked. We are just in immensely bulked right now. We are just immensely bulked. But from here, I'm going to stick with the Terra Blast into the Glaceon slot. And you know, I'm going to detect this turn. And the reason I'm going to detect this turn is because I think Glaceon's going to go for a Freeze Dry into my Urshifu slot. And at that point, I, I I like it. Like, we can block it, and I don't think we're KOing Glaceon with this uh, Terra Blast. So by doing this, it's going to be pretty good for us. Because then I could deal some damage. If we need two Terra Blasts, we can take it out next turn, and then I can potentially close combat that uh, Abomasome kind of get after it that way. It's a really good match. It's a really good match. There's still Rotom in the back end, which I'm not too worried about. I'm not too worried about Rotom with the team I have. Two water types on the field. I think we're kind of fine. He ends up just withdrawing. Wow. He ends up just straight up withdrawing. And you're going to go into Slow King. So this is the final Pokemon. And Giga Drain's going to fly. So we blocked that. Cool. So we get off some free damage. Uh, hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. These Roar Bells are pain in the neck, aren't they? They're so annoying. They're so annoying. We do about four damage to that uh, Slow King. And the snow finally stops. And Aurora Veil is gone. On both sides or just my side? I think that's just my side. Yeah, of course you are clayed. Of course you are like clayed there. But from here, I'm going to go into that. And I'm just going to close combat down this slot. I'm going to get rid of this guy. I'm getting rid of him. They still have Aurora Veil. It's kind of looking, looking annoying. A Psychic can do some big time damage on my Urshifu. But this is just this is really solid all around. So close combat finishes you off. Our defense is dropped, which is kind of annoying. I might want to swap just to set the snow again. Could be good for us. And maybe get our stats back, but it really depends how they go into this turn. This free shot is going to fly here. Give me a crit. That's some big damage for inside of Aurora Veil. And Chilling Water is going to come out here. So he's going to drop my attack. Okay, uh... I might, I might, I might just hard swap here. I could roost here as well. I could definitely roost. Just get some HP back. We know Glaceon's probably coming out here. Which it is. And I think swapping is going to be the play here. 
I just terror blast him into this thing. Where do I roost? I'm gonna swap because uh, I'm gonna set the snow again. I'm gonna get my stats back for my Urshfu. This is such a good match. Such a good first match. I'm gonna get my stats back for my Urshfu. I'm gonna set the snow. You have Snow Cloak. I got the Bright Powder. We could potentially dodge some moves here. I get Glaceon Hazard of its own too, but he ends up just protecting. <clears throat> so Protect comes out here. Probably going for a Chilling Water or a Psychic move into my into my bomb snow. That's fine. We'll go from there. What a match. Ooh, Trickery. Trickin' of the rooms. So actually, I could make a hard read here. Say he's going for a fire move into Obama Snow. And just hard swap into Urshfu. I get down for that. I can get down for that. Bring him back out, Urshfu. Bring him back out, Urshfu. Is there a war of elves about the end, too? Maybe I should have roosted this way. He's gonna yawn on me. How dare you? How dare you give me a yawn? Terror Blast gonna fly here. And you gotta be going after Urshfu, right? Yep. It's a good, good thing we swapped there. We should be able to soak pretty well. Cool. If we soak that up. I might just attack next turn. They're definitely gonna protect. I might hard swap at this point. Hard swap Articuno. now. And Terror Blast gonna do some nice damage. So, Terror Blast chunks up. Um. Now it's going to be the time to hard swap. And did we detect? Oh my god, this is annoying. I could actually Aqua Jet. I think Aqua Jet might be able to KO. What Aqua Jet? What Aqua Jet? Oh my god, dude, this is such a good match. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying. This is such good. On the casual ladder, this is one of the better matches I had. This is one of the better matches I had. So I swap into Bomb of Snow just to get rid of the Yawn. I'm not dealing with it. Knock with Jet. Can you KO? You do. That's a big time KO. That's a big, big time KO. With the War of Elk on, they have, uh, what's his name? Rotom in the back end. Are you going to Yawn my Urshfu? I'm just going to go for Chilling Water. So you're going to drop my attack stat. That's fine. Um, From here, I have the Grass move. They don't have Terra. Articuno did really good. They're gonna they're forced to bring out him. So from here, I can just go for an energy ball here. Aqua Jet, do we think Aqua Jet can KO? We have to go for an Aqua Jet. Reason I maybe we should detect it first, but the reason I say we have to go for an Aqua Jet is because Trick Room's out and about. Urshfu's gonna be slowest on the field first turn priority is gonna be a friend. It might not KO, but we still have Articuno with the water terror in the back end. Which is kinda scary, right? Considering this Rotom's an absolute menace. Can we KO it? We don't KO it. It's a little scary. He's gonna yawn me. How dare you? How dare you do that? How dare you do that? The energy ball is gonna fly here. And that's gonna KO Sloking. So we are sitting in such a good spot right now. Big time KOs from uh, a bomb so. Let's see what he goes into. He goes to a discharge. So the smart play here would just be to protect and let my bomb go to sleep. Wow, this is. Oh, this is coming down to it. Can he paralyze me, actually, so I don't go to sleep? The one time I need to paralyze. So now I bring out you. Um, uh, what do I do here? I think I just need to straight up attack. What move does the most damage for us? Blizzards? Yeah, Blizzards. I could go for Ice Shard. I could go for Ice Shard. Just go Ice Shard and Blizzard. Hmm. Now we're gonna go for Blizzard first. We have Ice Shard if we need it. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I guess I'll go for a Terror Blast. How many turns left in this Trick Room? I mean, what's called goes to sleep next turn? I'm drowsy. And then Trick Room's gone. Oh my god, I wish I could protect. So actually, that works out perfectly because he cannot go to sleep. Hmm. This is gonna be. They might win this one. This one's gonna be tough. Blizzard does fly first. Okay. And we pick up a KO like that. I was kind of scared that they have Blizzard winning KO. But it straight up does. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. What a first match to get this video started. Articuno and Obama Snow taking it. What a way to get this video started. One of the best matches I had on the casual ladder. More importantly, we came out on top with that victory. But we're hopping into our second match. Going up against a really powerful Cinderace team. And I need to get my hands on the Cinderace team. So if you guys have a Cinderace team, let me get it in the comment section down below. Or over on my Twitter. But uh, they got Cinderace. They got Hisumi Guja, which we know is an absolute bulk. They also have Gargle Knackle, who's an absolute bulk. And Avalug, who's an absolute bulk. And Annihilate, 
who's an absolute bulk, and then Garchomp. And then Garchomp. Um, the Ice Squad's gonna be pretty decent here. I don't think it's too bad. I like the typing. Uh, I like the terror typing there as well. I like the Aurora Belt, so I might just end up leading it again. Just pretty solid all around. So I can get down with that. I can definitely get down with that. So I'm gonna lead both of them. Um, as back end Pokemon, Urshifu is pretty solid, right? Urshifu, really, really nice. We 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 love Urshifu. So I'm gonna go Urshifu and then Shen Pao again, probably, right? Same squad, different order. Same squad, same order, pretty much, right? It looks like it works out pretty well here, so I can get down with it. And I think I am gonna get down with it. Surprised we haven't used Regilecki yet, because Regilecki is just that good. But definitely not as good as it was in Sword and Shield, because Sword and Shield it was it was him. Regilecki was him in Sword and Shield. That's why I have really high hopes when Regulation D comes out. It's just so fast, it can get some nice speed control. But the problem with Regulation D is, first turn priority is a problem. Like in Sword and Shield, it wasn't a problem, but now it is a problem. So he's going to go into these two. Um, Aurora Bill is definitely going to be our best friend. Uh, changing the water typing could be tough for us, but we might have to. Go Terror Blast in the Gargi slot. And I might double down, or should I set up Aurora Bill right here right now? But once we're asked to a stone instead, kind of, right? Kind of. But nah, I, I, I need to get some damage off on that Pokemon. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to get this Aurora Bill out and about. So I'm going to Terrasalize my Articuno again. Love you, Articuno. The one thing I'm scared of, which might happen, is a Bomb might just get dumped on by a Drain Punch. Could be a possibility. That's why I kind of want to Terrasalize it, but I really like this water move going into the Garden Knuckle. I'm all about it. Thunderbolt. We're able to soak really well. Thank you, Snow. So, Terra Blast flying here. Articuno's actually bulked that really well. And Terra Blast flies and gets off some big damage, which we really, really like. And now we have a War Bell. So, we're going to be absolutely bulked out of our minds. I can roost if need be. I like where we're sitting. We'll see what Gargoyle Knuckle wants to go for. He goes for a Hammer Arm. Ew. Chill on me, man. He's going to drop its speed. I mean, its speed's already low enough. And he gets Rocky Helmet damage, which we adore. Which we adore. So, now I'm just going to throw a Blizzard. And I think I'm just going to double down on Blizzard. So I think that's my play. Maybe try to get a Freeze on Annihilate. Chunk up some nice damage. We'll get rid of Gargoyle Knuckle at the same time. Oh, baby. Articuna buzzing. There's Strain Punch. That's what I was scared of. We're able to bulk it now that we have a War Bell. And that's big. That is big. Because if we if they did that turn one, we would have died. The War Bell helped us out bulk that. So we get rid of Gargoyle Knuckle. Articuna picking up a big time KO. And then from here, we're going to drop another Blizzard. And KO. Oh, my. God, come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. Articuno and Obama Snow is going to sweep this one. Hopefully. Hopefully. Articuno is just so bulky in that Aurora Bell. Plus, I have Roost. Just get my HP back. We thrive at Blizzards. Then we got the Snow Cloak. We got the uh, the Bright Powders. They have high chance of missing. But out comes Garchomp, who's 1,000% going to Terrasalize, right? 1,000% Terrasalize. And I'm probably going to go into a... Uh... Do I want to go into a Blizzard, or do I just want to Terrorblast? I think Terrorblast is in race. Because chances are you are going to Terrasalize Garchomp, but we're going to Ice Shard into it just in case it doesn't. Which I'd be super surprised. And it doesn't. Like, what? What? The Cinderace is probably killing me. Yeah. That's exactly why I went into the Ice Shard. I knew Cinderace was, was going to come in here and rip into me. But that is super surprising. You're just not going to Terrasalize your Garchomp. Kind of weird, right? Kind of weird. This person forget they have Terrasalization. But Terra Blast now flies. Bang, bang. Oh, big time damage. And Garchomp's going to go next with a Brick Break. Take out my screens. Don't like that. Don't like that. Nothing's worse than when you set up screens so brick breaks you. Come on, man. I just set that up. I just set that up. But this match is pretty much wraps, right? It's pretty much wraps. Because I can Aqua Jet into Cinderace. No matter what typing it is, I'm going to be able to KO. And then Blizzard's going to just uh, do its job. Cool. Cool. A little bit 2 0 action. Articuno cooking. Cooking in the kitchen, saucing up some meals. Loving it, loving it, loving it. I wanted to use a Galarian Articuno team, but then I seen this one. I like Articuno better than Galarian Articuno. I was like, I gotta use it. I gotta use it for the jeans community. So hopefully you guys do enjoy it. We did have some good battles so far. But out finally comes the terror type. Now I wonder what it is. It's going into Garchomp. Is it ground? It's straight dragon. Okay, then I understand why they didn't terrestrialize that last turn. Probably should have. I mean, would have made it two times a week instead of four times a week, so we would have taken half the damage I did. But Aqua Jet's gonna fly. Blizzard's still gonna be able to KO, no problem. And you're not gonna be able to KO me. Actually, can you? Probably not, right? I think I'm gonna move that you can. We outspeed you regardless. Cool. Blizzard drops the Garchomp. 
There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Two and oh. Let's keep things cooking. Let's stay hot. Opponent already turned off his console. That's hilarious. But let's stay hot in match number three and look for a perfect record. Final match coming at you guys, and let's get out Choice Scarf Regilek. Like, he's gonna be my lead. I kind of like him here. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Um, who else should we bring here? Articuno and Abomasno were phenomenal in match number one and in match number two, and I still see them doing really, really well up against what we have, right? Ice is gonna be super effective on the Salamence, the Thunderous, if that's Water Urshu, which I believe it is, it will be super effective on that. Then on top of that, we got Rillaboom. I really like Articuno and Abomasno. So you know what, I'm gonna bring them in here. I'm gonna get cooking with them. And then final Pokemon, Shen Power Urshfu, right? Shen Power is gonna be great. Urshfu is gonna be maybe even a little bit better just because of its first turn priority, but water is not so hot here. Water is not so hot. So actually Shen Power is gonna be the guy. We're bringing him in. Let's get it. I kind of probably should have led Arcanine, or not Arcanine, Articuno and Abomasin again, the, the double A squad. Could have done that, but I really want to use Regilecki out here in match number one. So we'll see. We got Zap Cannon. We can do some big time damage with the boy. He hits like a truck, too. Transistor boosts electric moves by like 30%. A lot of people rock the magnet with that thing, or even Life Orb. The so Thunderous and Urshi Urs. And that's Water Urshfu, I believe, which is great for us. Um, could be Prankster, could be Defiant. I think it's Prankster. Um, and what do I want to go into here? I could just full switch out. Get dipping on here. But I'm thinking of just dropping a big time Thunderbolt. I'm gonna do that and I could Terrasalize, but there's no point in really Terrasalize. So I'm just gonna go into a free shrine in slot. Let's see what he ends up doing here. I'm curious. So out comes Terrasalization. That is totally fine. And he's gonna terrestrialize the Urshu. So Urshu Urshu gonna get the terrestrialization. Go into straight poison. A little poison. Was not expecting that. Out of all the typings, wouldn't have guessed poison. Scary face gonna slow me down. We might still be able to outspeed Urshu. Which way scarf? We're not playing around here. Yeah, see, we're not playing around here. <laughs> we're not playing around here. Thunderbolt's still doing a huge amount of damage. And Surge Strikes gonna KO me. We might be able to live on like one. We might live this. We don't live that. Come on, Reggie. Come on, Reggie. You were my homie. Didn't really get to use him at all today, but still. You guys will definitely see him a lot in the future. But this is fine, because Free Shy is going to fly here. He's going to chuck up some nice damage, some beautiful damage. And now I can go into a Bomb of Snow. And this is where I feel as we can just go into a Warvel and Blizzard at the same time. But I think we can pick up chaos like that. I think we pick up some chaos. So I'm gonna go for the war bell, try to set up the defense bulk for the rest of the match, and pull up a nice lovely blizzard. I need the text, that's fine by me. Fine by me, sweetheart. Fine by me. Rain dance. Oh! Yo, wait a no! That's not cool. That's not cool. That's that's my that's my snow. Can you still land this blizzard? You do. Get him on out of here. That's my snow. That's that's I can't set up a war bell without that. That's my snow. It's absurd. It's absurd that they would do something like that. Not cool, not cool, but great play. That's my snow, man. <laughs> I needed that. That's my snow. Come on, man. Now, now I gotta deal with this thing. Now I gotta deal with floods. Last thing I'm gonna deal with. Now I'm gonna swap into Shenpowski. Love him with his first turn priority. And I'm gonna freeze dry and just look to. Look to just get rid of this Urshifu. That's my snow, man. Taking my snow, I still got bright powder. But that, that was a big play for our opponent. Right? That's a big time play from our opponent. A massive play. Thunderbolt's gonna fly here. Of course you're rocking Thunderbolt. And we're gonna be able to soak. Don't double down into me. Of course you go after Shen Pao. It's fine, we're sashed. We can get snow in a little bit. We can get snow cooking. So we're gonna be able to finish off Urshifu here. Um. Hmm. What's the play here? Because I don't like them. So I really don't. I really do not. Shen Pao is typing ghost. I wish it was dark so we could just pick up some more damage here. But Baxi's gonna come out here. Our best play, honestly, honestly, 
is to hard swap into a bomb so set the snow cloak set the everything else and just drop a blizzard here right that's our best bet right we're looking at dodge a move here we're looking for bright powder and snow cloak to really clutch up for us honestly that's our best move i'm i'm not gonna lie we're looking to dodge this thunderbolt let's see what we got cooking here come on man my snow is back we're here ice shards flying we're able to soak that and the play of a lifetime keeps us in the game. Keeps us in the game. We love it. It keeps us in the game. We're here to play. Um, from here, it's all about the attack. It's all about the attack right here. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to hope we can dodge again. Actually, what's your terror type? It is straight water. Would that be good for us? Not really. Definitely dropping a blizzard. And we're definitely going into another blizzard. We'll save our terror. We might need it later. But there's a thunderbolt. Really helped us out tremendously. It honestly did. I am scared of this, uh, this glaive rush here that I think is going to pop out here. No, it's going to be Iso Crash. Do not make me flinch. Do not do that to me. Cool. Blizzard lands, and that's a big time damage. So, we're here. We came to play. We came to play. That was, like I said, we needed that dodge, and we got the dodge. We got the dodge. So, from here... Now it's gonna be Blizzard City. And Sucker Punch to take out you. This is tough, because he's ice sharding me. This is real tough. Real tough. It's coming down to the wire. Coming down to the wire. Hmm, anything on the field. Snow for two turns. We'll go water tower now. Just so we can we probably should have went water tower last turn. We're going water tower right here right now. Oh my lord, this is such a good match. We had some great matches in today's video. We finally watered her. We probably should have done that a turn ago. To block some of the ice, ice damage. Yeah, see, we cannot eat up another one of those. Blitz is going to fly here. Wait a minute. We might be able to soak up an ice shard, and he might not be able to. Wait a minute. Can Jeans pull us off? No! <laughs> No! Man, 1 HP! 1 HP! And now he takes Rocky Helmet damage. Oh, man. That's a tough one. That's a tough loss, but such a good match. 2-1 for today's video. GG's to our opponent. All Pokemon fall in the field. Such good matches for today's video. This Articuno Snow Team was absolutely amazing. Had so much fun playing with it, and the Articuno and Abomaso are absolute bulks within that Aurora Bell. You got Regilecki, you got Urshfu, Dragonite, and Shen Pao, which do a lot of the heavy lifting when damage is needed, but still, absolutely love this team, and all the matches today were absolutely amazing, so hopefully you guys did enjoy. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.